Hey there, it's Nancy. I'm back with some more tips and tricks on how to be a better and more efficient landlord for your rental properties. So today what I'm going to talk about is getting the documentation you need for selecting the right applicant for your property. So this can be very time consuming. And so what I try to do is make it as easy on me as possible. And I want to make it as easy on, on you as possible too. So that what does that mean? That means make the applicant do most of the work. Now, yes, you're going to have to follow up and make sure that what the documentation that you received is accurate and valid. So, but here's what you can do. So number one, you wanna make sure that you get a completed application. That will start the process of telling you all the information you need, like where they work, you know, how much they make, how many people are gonna be living in the property, that kind of thing. Number two, make sure you have them sign that tenant selection criteria that I talked about on a couple other videos. Um, if you didn't see that, go back and download that because you wanna make sure that the applicant knows what you're gonna be checking and what they can be denied on. So about credit and criminal and that kind of thing. Number three, um, have the applicant give you all the info on the income, okay? This is great. So I came upon this a, a few um, years ago. And so what I do is, if the person has a W-2 job, I just have them send in two to three pay stubs, right? And then basically those pay stubs, I love the ones that have all the information on it. It usually has, you know, year-to-date earnings. It'll have hourly. And you can do it really quickly to fill figure out what their annual income is, divided by 12, find out if they're meeting the three times uh, per month requirement, right? We require that they have three times the amount of rent. So if they're um, full-time, you can take that hourly wage times 2080, um, and that's full-time. And of course, if it's part-time, you use 1,040. So that's just a good little tip and trick. Now, what if they're self-employed? I've been self-employed for more years than I can count. So what I do is I just have them provide three to four months worth of bank statements, all pages, and then that way I can go through and see all of their deposits and that kind of thing. So I hope this was helpful for you to screen and verify that you're getting the right tenant for your property. Um, check below for my checklist. And if you like this, subscribe, write me any questions. And if you want further information, check out my property management master course um, just for you. All right. Thanks and have a great day.